my channel. So today I have another really exciting video for you guys and as you can probably tell I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> I saw that you guys really really loved the shoe haul that I actually did from everything five pounds so I actually went back onto their website had a look at some shoes and ordered a lot of shoes. <laughs> so in these two boxes they are just literally packed full of shoes and that is what we're actually going to be doing today. So if you guys are brand new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, I'm Leah, welcome to the channel. Do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But I do just want to say that in light of everything that is actually going on in the world at the minute because it seems to have gone a little bit crazy, I do kind of want to keep my channel more entertaining so that you guys can take yourself away from what is going on outside your four walls. I know that some people would actually rather listen to the news and know exactly what's going on. Some people don't want to take away from the fact that there are things going on in this world that are a little bit scary for some people. But I do want to keep my channel that little bit more entertaining so that you guys have actually got something nice and pleasant to watch. I don't want to go down the route of being morbid and woe is me and just absolutely dark on this channel. I want to try and keep it light and airy and then if I do have things to tell you that will be in separate videos etc like I have done before but I do want to try and keep my channel sort of light and entertaining for you guys. Though I will say please stop panic buying because I literally have the smallest amount of toilet roll left. Like this is my actual toilet roll situation at the minute. I mean it is a dire and I can't find any anywhere. So, yes. If, if you have toilet roll, send help. Send help! And I cannot find any anywhere. And I know so many people that are running so low on toilet paper and cannot find any. So please guys, just think about everybody else while you've got 100 toilet rolls stacked up in your house, sitting there, supplying you for the next six months. So yes, my toilet roll situation is a little bit dire. I literally have one shower's worth of shower gel left because Lord knows I can't find any anywhere. But who really cares because I've got two boxes of shoes here to go through so I'm gonna get into this video and show you some shoes. So let's get into the video. Right, so I suppose we just start off with the one that's right on top. So I'm gonna grab my first box. Yes, there are two boxes. Um, Disclaimer, gonna be a long video. If I feel like I need to make two videos, then I'll make two videos, but I'm planning on getting them all into one, so I'm gonna not talk as much. <laughs> These boxes, wow, they are literally rammed full. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so with the shoes, I have got normal shoes, I've got crazy shoes, I've got could be interesting shoes, I've got flat shoes, I've got heels, I may have boots, I can't, remember because I went buy everything um so we'll just have to see what we have because I can't remember truffle collection yes I <laughs> like the truffle collection they have some interesting shoes so on here and I'm gonna get the first box out Ta -da! truffle collection in my last shoe haul, I got everything in a size 6 and I was finding things were very, very difficult to like fit my feet in. So, I thought, let's see what they're like if I try a 7. Because normally I'm a 7 in like boots, but then I'll have a 6 in like more formal shoes. So I decided to go for 7s in everything. And that's UK 7s by the way guys, UK 7. Look at them! <laughs> okay, so you've got a tie that obviously goes around your ankle. Um, they're literally like beach shoes. Okay, so I lied. Nine. Oh, American sizes. Right, okay. What I'll do is, for you guys that don't know your size and then you're from different countries, I will actually put a chart above for you so you can have a look at, to see what your shoe size would be on everything five pounds. So I'll pop that above for you. It's be either here or here, wherever I, I feel like putting it. But these are the shoes. So they're cork here and <laughs> they're shiny, they're rose gold. And do you know what? They actually look quite pretty. Look, they're so pretty! Uh, I don't, I think they're really, really nice. You know, if you're going on holiday and you need some beach shoes. Yes! I mean, I don't know if I'm going on holiday now because 
I don't know if I'm going on holiday, which is a shame because I've been saving up for three and a half years to spend out on this really lavish holiday. But, you know, everybody's safety is what matters. But anyway, shoes. So this is this shoe. It feels like it'd be quite sturdy, actually. These may be a little bit itchy because it's almost like metal strands to make the, the string. Um, they've not laced it very well because <laughs> that crosses over there, unless it's meant to cross over. I don't know. Let's get the other one out and we'll have a look at that one. Okay, yeah, so that one is crossed over as well. So that is what that shoe looks like. And that is what that shoe looks like. And they look quite cool, so I can't wait to try them on and actually see what they're like. So let's get them tried on. I have the shoes on. What do you think? What do you think? Do you know what? I'm so glad I went for a seven because I think I'm going to have to come around to the fact that maybe I am just a size seven in stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also wearing my joggers, so, you know, comfy is as comfy does, you are going to have to put up with it throughout this video. I think these are awesome. They're so comfy, and the cork just makes them even comfier. The only bit that is a little bit of an issue is, it's fallen down already. Come on, stand up. Oh, man. Yes, these do fall down because they tie around, obviously. Uh, and it's a little bit scratchy because it's metallic, which I thought it probably would be. The straps are super, super duper comfortable. And with it being the cork, the cork is just like, you could jump up and down and it just absorbs all of that sort of, I want to say weight, pressure, whatever it is. But yeah, I do really like these. I think they're really, really comfy. I think that they would be brilliant for any sort of vacation or holiday or... You know, in the summer when you're just hanging out in the garden and see friends. I love how they actually shine as well. I think they are so pretty. They're like sandals, but with that extra little jazz of something else, which is really, really cool and so unique. Delving in for the next one, it is a red box. Oh, this is heavy. What is in here? Lavi. Lavi. Okay. Lavi. La Ooh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, Zer. What do we think to these? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Do you know what? I thought they would look really, really crazy actually, but I'm kind of a fan. I will admit I'm kind of a fan. Um these are gorgeous. They are like a suede. And that strap is really thick actually. It's got a strap around the ankle and the heel. Doesn't really look like there's much glue anywhere. There's a little bit here, but a fiver, who cares? That heel is so chunky. Oh my God. Look at the studding detail on there. <gasps> it's gorgeous. It's like these bits are a really light goldy color. And then the little swirls, where are they? These swirls are like the, the silver sequins and they've all just been glued on. They're, oh, I like these. I don't think I could ever wear them because they're giant and they're suede, but wow. Okay, so let's get the other one out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so that is both of the shoes and wow. I'm just, I'm really excited to try these on. They just, wow. So, so excited to try these on. I mean, I was thinking that these would be really, really extra and I'm just like, God, they're not really that extra, are they? They, they are, but... For me, I'm like, these are actually so super, super gorgeous. I love these. Let's get these tried on and see what they look like. I may break my ankle in these. Please don't let me break my ankle. What do we think of these? Do you know what? I actually thought it would be a massive struggle to walk in these. And do you know, it really isn't. It's actually so easy to walk in them. It doesn't feel like your foot's any higher than it should be in heels. And I'm kind of sold. I, I just wish I had places to wear shoes like this. Glad I got a seven because it feels like my foot, my foot, my feetses only just fit into them. It is a little bit tight on the front here. As you can see, my toes are getting a little bit squished. It's a bit tight just here because I have such a high instep. It is tight there. This was a little bit tight to get on as well. But because it's like a suede, I think that it would probably stretch anyway. But these buckles here, absolutely beautiful. It's like a, it's an octagon, hexagon, one of them. But that is a really, really nice touch. It's very, very different. And you know what? The studs, they are amazing. I absolutely adore these. I love the colour as well. 
the khaki colour, yes please, do you know, it just goes so well together, I just, I really wish I had somewhere where I could wear these shoes, look at these, oh, do you know what, yes, I am such a fan of these, I'm so happy with them, but my feet are not falling forward in them, I feel like I could wear them for quite a while, I feel actually really comfortable, I don't feel like I'm going to topple over, I honestly feel like these are uh, some pretty good shoes, right, delving in for the next one, oh, oh, that was further away than I thought it was, right, what are these, oh they're boots, I know I've got, wow, Wow, are these a seven? They're a seven and they look huge. I'm sorry guys, but look at the size of that foot. Wow. Okay, so these are like a velvet boot. Um, you do actually have a zip there, which is actually a really good zip. And you've got a tie at the top there. So, oh, it's actually, wow. Okay, that's good. elastic -y. So, I may be able to get these all the way up to where they need to go. Don't know what I think about these. I would say these are a very extra, oh my god, because they're like shimmery. Oh, oh my god. Overall, I think they're going to make your feet look huge. Also, you can see the glue here, so honestly, I don't... Let's just stroke the boot. No, you can actually see, like, the glue there where the sole's actually been glued on. So, I don't actually know if these would last. But let's grab the other boot out, and we can... Have a look to see what they look like together. These are the boots. And yeah, I don't I don't know if they are actually gonna make your feet look massive. It's crazy. They're interesting. <laughs> they're gonna look weird. I think they're gonna look weird on me. Um not really my kind of thing, but very extra all the same. I think they're very extra anyway. The soles are pretty good. They look like they'd be half decent. It's just the glue worries me. They look good, they feel like good quality, they have got some stretch in them. The zips, oh, the zips are gonna be brilliant to try and get them on because Lord knows you need zips when you're trying on boots, especially if you're me because I have a high instep, I've got larger calves and I've got larger thighs. So fingers crossed, these will actually go up to where they're supposed to go up to, unlike those denim boots that I got in my last haul. So if you've not seen my last shoe haul, I will link it above for you. Fingers across for these, so let's get them tried on. So I have never had boots that I've been able to get up over my knee, you know like thigh high boots. I am apologising now because I've had to roll my joggers up as high as I can literally roll them and oh my god it's slowly cutting off the circulation. I apologise if I've got like thigh rolls but these boots go over my knee. I'm like oh my god they go over my knee. I can even make them tighter. So if you guys have big calves or big knees or big thighs, these will fit you. Oh my gosh, they will fit you. Um, My feet are sweating already in them. I've had them on like two minutes. They actually feel a bit big. Where's my toes? My toes are near the end, but they feel a little bit big to me, which is really odd. I actually feel like I'm gonna trip over when I walk in these. But honestly, if I got a six, they would be far too small. They're very metallic and I don't know where I'd wear them. Probably like with black jeans and then I'd put them over the top. That would probably be how I would wear them. They are actually quite comfy. I'm surprised. The thing that really helped getting them on is the zip here. The zips are like really good zips. Um, they're the sort of boots, I suppose. You could like wear them like here if you wanted to wear them a bit further down. Let's, let's have a jiggle. But yeah, you could like wear them as high or as low as you wanted to and just be like rocking it. If I'm honest, I'm actually really surprised that these boots fit me. I'm surprised that they're comfortable. And I'm surprised that they don't look too bad either. Okay, so. I've got two more left. Actually, it should only be one pair because I really wanted some of these. So I got two sizes. I got a six and I got a seven. So I'm not gonna show you both of them because that's just stupid. These are the shoes. I've not really got any flat formal sort of shoes that you can kind of wear out and about. Say like, you know, if you're going out to a restaurant or something, not that we can at the minute anyway, but if you go out to somewhere like a restaurant, I've not got any just general flat nice shoes that I can wear anywhere. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna order these, get them in two sizes, try a six and a seven, see which one fits better, and then boom, there we go. So these are, actually they feel quite nice to be fair. It's got a general quite nice sole. This is the six that I've actually got out of the box. And the foot shape actually seems like it might be quite nice for my feet. 
I know that they are pointed and I have very square feet, but there seems to be like a little, a toe bit here. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Are you actually making shoes? Look at that, if you put the line from there to there, you get my foot shape. So you never know, these may be the perfect flat shoes for me. But you have got a little ankle strap there. I don't know how tight that is gonna be, but there is room enough to put some more holes in it if I needed to. Other than that, I just cut it off and just have it as a shoe. That is that shoe there. Get the other shoe out is the pair of shoes. So yeah, they both look really nice. I'm so excited to try these on because hopefully it means that I'll have some flat, nice shoes to wear when I need smart casual and I can't wear my giant heels. So let's get them tried on and see what they look like. So these are the shoes and I think they are quite kind of nice. You know, like if you need some flat shoes which are a little bit pretty, a little bit more formal for going out in the evening. And the only thing that I will say is I probably need to stand on them, them a lot because I've only just put them on and look at how they're rubbing on my heel already. Every single pair of shoes I get uh, with heels like this is the heels are always so scratchy and too low for my actual heel. My heel finishes like here. Honestly, I would have to wear like a plaster with them and like tread on them and make them really, really soft here to actually be able to wear them. But if you are looking for shoes for like just a, a going out in the evening that's a little bit more formal so you can be a bit smart casual, these are actually really nice. I like them. I think from the size they make your feet look big, but no, it's the style of the shoe. It's the fact it's got a point. It's the fact that it's got a point and it's on the floor and not like like this. If it's like this, you'd look like well sexy like, yeah. If you're gonna get them, break them in, wear some socks with them maybe, and tread on the back a little bit because that's kind of how I break in shoes like this. So, one box down. One absolutely humongous giant box to go. Like literally, the size of this box it's bigger than any everything five pounds box I've ever had before, ever. It's like swamping me so bad. But let's get into this. And this, this is bulging guys, this is absolutely bulging. I can't find my big scissors either, so I've got my teeny tiny ones, my baby scissors. This is a huge box. This haul might be very long, everybody. I apologize now, but I think it's gonna be a huge one. I'm in. Oh, okay. Hello everyone, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Hello. In this box, I actually have shoes which don't have lids. And they're squished really bad. Shimmy this. I'm in here. Oh. Let's go to the first box. And like literally. Thanks everything five pounds. But I think I've found the lid. That might be the lid. I don't know. Okay, go, go, go that way box. Right. So, another pair of shoes. It's a shoey day. I like shoes. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Holy Moses in a boat. Wow. Oh, that heel's a little bit wibbly, wobbly, wobbly, wibbly. But holy. That is the lid. It's the same brand that is the lid. You know how I said I didn't know how many were extra, but I kind of got some extra shoes. This is an extra shoe. Right. Okay. I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm shocked. If you cannot tell, I am so, so shocked. I'm reviewing it, I'm not being shocked at shoes. Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> oh my Lord. Right, so it's got this studded detail all the way down it and it's like, the actual material is, it's got like this weird kind of pattern on it. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's interesting, it's really, really interesting. It actually looks a bit like wicker which is really strange, but it's nice at the same time. I mean, I love the pattern from the studs. Absolutely beautiful. And I like the fact that it's got a gold heel. So that is really, really cool. But I will say that the heel is plastic. Hear it? So that's, that's not gonna hold up if you're one of those people that like does serial nights out. I think it is literally a taxi shoe. But let's get the other one out. Let's have a look. This is the pair together and yeah, they are 100% taxi shoes. Look, look at that heel. Oh my Lord. Oh, oh my God. Okay, right. I'm just, yeah, they look really, really good. The heel is a cheap plastic, so that's probably not gonna last very long, but I need to try these on right now. So let's try them on. 
and let's hope that I don't actually break my ankle. I don't think I'm going to be able to walk in these at all. Please, please pray for me. And I've, I've actually just realised the brand is called Metallica. So yeah, that's cool. I actually like Metallica. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. Glad I got a seven again because it was so hard to get my feet in these because of my foot shape. And yeah, a little trick for you guys actually, if you ever struggle getting your feet into shoes because your feet have swollen because they're so hot, use a little bit of hair serum. I actually use this, just put it on my little pinky toe and my toes just went straight into the shoe. So there you go, a little hack for you. Okay, so the heel, even though it's plastic, it actually feels kind of sturdy, which I'm actually really impressed about. They're not as difficult to walk in as I thought they would be. Maybe I'm just a little bit extra and I can wear giant shoes. Yeah, I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over. Well, now that my feet are in them and they're bedded into the place that they need to be in in the shoes to wear them, they're really comfy. I'm actually surprised at how comfortable they are. I also think that it makes my ankles look nice because they are so chunky. And uh, I'm kind of impressed with them. Shall I say it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to say I'm impressed with them. And I actually think that they are absolutely gorgeous. They are so extra, but so gorgeous as well. Okay, so the next one that hasn't got a lid on it. Ew, Sergio Tod... Todzi. Sergio Todzi. There we go. So I have a thing. I've got my lid. Oh my Lord. Oh. <laughs> I needed to do this and I forgot. Oh dear. These are the boots. Um, very extra, very, very extra. I'm just, <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, right, so they are plastic. Um, they're like Wellington-ness. -like you know like when you get wellies and you put wellies on and it's kind of quite chilly actually? But that's really good, so hopefully it will stop your feet from, from sweating. You have got some little holes here as well hopefully to avoid moisture. Again, I got these in a seven. And do you know what, sticking your hand in there, they actually feel quite comfy. Um, again, they're points, so I don't know how my foot is going to fare with that point because it's not very long. It's quite a short point. The heel feels really good actually, really, really good. And I love these buckle details, I think they're brilliant. The only thing that I might struggle with is actually getting my foot in there. But the buckles look like they undo. And you have like a gap here and it goes all the way down. So I suppose you can undo the buckles, get your foot in there and do the buckles back up, which is brilliant. I don't know whether I absolutely love them because of how quirky they are or whether I'm just like, whoa, whoa. But I'm, I'm verging on the whoa, but then the more I look at them, the more I think, yeah, why not? Why not? Let, let, let's go crazy, we just why not? So let's get the other boot out and let's have a look at these. So this is the pair together and they are a little bit crazy, but I kind of love them. I have no idea why I kind of love them. I think they're just, they're so different, they're so quirky, and do you know what? I cannot wait to get them tried on. So let's get these crazy shoes, boots, boots, crazy boots, tried on. Well, hello to these boots. So what do we think? I am pleasantly surprised with these. They are comfortable. They went on without me having to undo the buckles. They don't feel like you're really gonna sweat that much in them. They don't feel like, you know, they're gonna rub because they're plastic. The heel feels good. I mean, look how skinny those heels are. They are like some skinny ass heels, like really. They don't feel skinny, they're comfortable. I can walk in them, there's no issues with it. They're just, they are comfy boots. The thing that makes them so extra is the rainbow snake print. I mean, if they were just plain black, then they would not be that extra, but wow, that rainbow snake print is like doing the most of everything, it's crazy. But yeah, this little slit here is a little bit odd, but it does help you actually get the boots on which is really, really helpful. We didn't have to undo the buckles at all. And because they're like the welly plastic, it's like, you can actually wear them out when it's raining and your feet won't get wet other than like through the little slitty bits. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with these. Super impressed. I thought they'd be so tight on my feet, it'd be crazy, but they're actually not. And I thought the heel would be so flimsy because, well, super duper stiletto. 
but they're actually not. They're, they're, it's, they are a nice boot. Okay, so delving in for the next one. And it's by the same brand. Oh my God, what's gonna be in this one? What is gonna be? Oh <laughs> no. What have I done? Oh my God. Okay, so as you could probably guess, it's the same brand. So it's gonna be the same kind of crazy ass shoe. Same kind of crazy ass shoe. Oh wow, these are like proper plasticky rubberiness. Ta-da! I don't know what I feel about these. But, I don't... good sole, very, very good sole. We'll get dirty quickly. See-through, there's no air release holes that I can see. They are plastic, does up like with a lace. I'm gobsmacked. I can't even remember ordering these. I'm just like, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, the one thing else, it's got like, something's been cut off there and cut off there as well. Let me have a look to see if it's the same on this side. Yeah, there's like something has been cut off there and cut off there. I don't know if that's, I really don't know. But the, do you know what, looking at these, you don't expect because they're brand new shoes, for them to be nice and clean and sparkly, but the amount of dirt and fingerprints that are actually on this clear bit is unbelievable. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but that's crazy. Oh my God. Okay, a little bit worried about what I might actually catch off these. Let's just say they're extremely vibrant, <laughs> extremely, extremely vibrant. It is plastic. They smell like wellies. I think it's that kind of welly material again, like from the other boots. Yeah, so it might keep your feet cool. But these, you know if you've got really fancy socks, you could wear like really fancy socks with these and they would look really cool. Honestly, I don't know what to think about them. <laughs> I think they're extremely extra. I mean, you know, if you're one of those people that loves neon, this is like amazing. I'm a little bit reserved about these. I don't know what to think. <laughs> These are crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna stop being like, what? And I'm gonna get them tried on and we're gonna see what they look like. I look like a funky highway maintenance man. That is honestly like how I feel about these boots. I'll say that they're, they're comfortable to a point, like the actual boot itself, like from here to here is comfortable. The rest of it, not so comfortable. Because it's plastic, the tongue here is like really digging into my leg and it's actually quite painful. That's gonna end up being red in no time soon. But I also thought like, if you actually have boots like this, do you do them all the way to the top? So I just did the laces up a little bit further down. Neon, can everybody just say neon? These are crazy. I think they're awesome if you're like really alternative when you can get away with wearing neon. Neon is not really my kind of thing at all. I mean, I love, I love the tread of the boots. I absolutely love the tread of the boots. I think they're brilliant. I think the heel is brilliant. I think the style is brilliant. But the fact that they're welly plastic, not so brilliant. If you're wearing jeans and you took your jeans into them, then fair enough. And my feet are already starting to sweat in them because there is literally like no holes to get air in there at all. But you know, they're, they're comfortable. You could pretty much wear them all day. If you can rock this kind of thing, then totally go for it because I think they're quite, quite cool. Right, so the next one, and I seem to be getting a lot of shoes that are from the same brand, which I don't know if it's like coincidental and if they just sell a lot of stuff from the same brand, but you know, it's lovely. Oh, and if you're wondering why I, I now have a scratch here, Hemi actually came upstairs and decided to jump on me, so there we go. So, in this box, ew. Okay, I've seen other people try these on and I was like, do you know what, I really wanna try these on and actually see what they're like. So, these are sock boots. Let me get my hand in them. Ta-da, sock boots. So these are sock boots. Again, they've got plastic heels, so I'm not, I'm not keen on that plastic heel thing, guys. I know it's not gonna last because I've had shoes with plastic heels before and they're a bit crap but they are sock boots. So they are literally a shoe with a material boot on them. And they look a bit like, I don't know, like tube socks? <laughs> yeah, you know that you'd wear for like gym or you know, if you're a cheerleader or something, I don't, I don't know, I don't do sport. But yeah, so that's kind of what they're like. It is stretchy, so I'm happy that they're stretchy. They are, they are gonna be stretched to the max with me though. So there's the shoe boot. 
The actual shoes feel quite nice. They have like a little a little flower print on there, which is so cute. But I'm, I don't know whether I'm gonna love them, whether I'm gonna hate them. Um, I don't know, but they feel like they might actually be quite quite nice to actually have on and quite comfortable. So let's get the next boot out and we'll actually show you what they look like together. So this is the other shoe and this is what they look like together thus far without trying them on. And let me see how soft it is. Ugh. They are actually really soft. I can't wait to try them on. So let's get them off my hands and uh, Try them on properly, on my feet. These are a lot higher than you'd think they are, which is really odd. Okay, so these are like the sock shoe boot things. And if I'm honest, they're so high, I like, it's uncomfortable on like my toes and the front of my feet, like the balls of my feet. They're very different, aren't they? Please ignore my joggers, but they are really different. I don't know how else to describe how they look. I mean. The sock bit is really comfy. I imagine if you walk around enough, it would fall down, I assume, um, because it feels like it's kind of falling down with the movements that I'm doing. I'm walking, uh, I'm walking. It's, it feels really odd. Looking at the front of the shoes, when I first put them on, this one, I put on this foot. I actually thought I got it on the wrong foot, so I tried it on this one, and I was like, no, oh, hang on, no, it's on the right foot. So I think the actual shape of the shoe itself is a little bit off. Let's just say they are really extra. I mean, what would you actually wear these with? I have no idea, unless you're wearing like, like sports shorts and you wanna wear heels and then like a funky top. So you wanna be casual, but you wanna look kind of smart and funky at the same time. They're really not comfortable. They are a lot higher than they look, which is odd because I've had so many shoes that have had heels like this, but they haven't felt this high. They're already starting to give me cramp in the balls of my feet. So I'm gonna take them off. I think they're okay, but I would never wear them anywhere. Would you guys ever wear these anywhere? You know, let me know if you would. Okay, so the next one, it's got gold lid. So let's go for the gold lid. It's a Bellow Star, and I think I had Bellow Star in my last haul, I think. But let's see what these are like. So, oh my god, this is the first box of everything five pounds shoes where you get a spare set of heels. So happy about that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and ladies, I will just say if you wear heels and they start click clacking, so like sounding like metal, that means that you've actually gone through your heel and it's going to be very difficult to replace your heel. So as soon as you start finding out that your heel is nearly down to the bone, go and get them changed because it doesn't cost a lot and it stops you from ruining your shoes. I found out that very hard way. Wow, okay, so these feel like satin, look like satin. Extra! Look at those feathers. Oh my lord, look at them feathers. Oh, and these, these are cool. Though, there's one missing right there. There is one missing, they're faulty guys. But yes, there's one missing. How'd you? It's Velcro. Wow, okay, so that is Velcro. Can you imagine wearing these for a long period of time and walking around in them? La 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 And then, whew, and you just go flying because your shoe comes off and it's like, oh, the shoe in the air because it's just fallen off your foot because it's Velcro. Um, don't think that was much of a good idea, but it's interesting, it's different. Never known it before, other than on Adidas trainers. So that is the shoe. Seems like a good heel. I think that might be, you know if you're ticklish? Definitely not one for you if you're ticklish. They look like it's gonna be quite a nice shoe. It's got a lovely rounded toe there, actually. I haven't seen a rounded toe like that for ever. So this is what the pair actually look like together. And if I'm honest, they're probably gonna be really gorgeous on. And if you're wearing like a really sort of plain dress, this is such a statement. These are such a statement, oh my gosh. But as you can tell, there's a stud on there and there's not on there, so that is a real shame. I suppose you could buy them from like a craft store if you did actually get a pair that had it missing, but I will say a little bit of a fan for these. Oh! Hold them with two hands so then I won't drop them. But yeah, a bit of a fan, so I can't wait to get these tried on. Let's see if they're ticklish, let's see if they fit my feet, and let's see if the Velcro actually stays done up. Okay, so I would not wear shoes like this normally and they, 
I honestly don't think that they suit me at all. They look a little bit weird. You know, like, have you ever seen like those hats that you can wear, which are like a band, and then they've got all the feathers sticking up? Um, like the costume one, not uh, the native kind of headdress, but like the kind of weird, funny, comical headdress. That's what this makes me feel like I'm wearing. Does not make my feet look good at all. <laughs> I really don't think that they do. I think that they are pretty, they're very very extra. If you're wearing a plain dress, here's the kind of thing that would really make you kind of stand out. But the velcro, it's weird. It's kind of, it is holding my feet in, but with how thin the heels are and how thin the actual sole of it is, my feet are really starting to hurt in it anyway. You know, I am quite heel heavy, but the balls of my feet are in agony. And my feet just look really strange with like the crisscross on the front of it. I actually thought that they would look really nice, but honestly, I am really not much of a fan. Maybe because it's got I've got my joggers on. I don't know. I'm not much of a fan. I think they would have looked a bit nicer if the feathers went all the way around, or if the strap was a little bit higher. Because I think looking at it, the strap being here does not do anything for it. I think if it came here, and then you've got the feathers on it or the feathers were going that way. I think they would look really nice. I don't know with these. Tell me what you think of these, because I'm like, in one sense I'm thinking, do you know what, they're really extra, they're very different, they would look so good with like a plain dress. But in another sense I'm like, they make my feet look horrible. There's just like, no, I'd never wear them anywhere. So yeah, please tell me what you think. I, I really am not sure about these. Okay, so I've got three left. Oh my God, this is such a long haul, but oh my God, I just had to do this. Okay, three left. So grab this one. These have got to be boots. Look at the size of that box. Okay, so another Lanavy box. Char. Okay, maybe they're not boots. Oh, these smell odd. Ooh. Ooh, oh, 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 they smell weird. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> they smell really bad. Why am I still sniffing it? Oh, okay, they smell bad. Right, but other than that, hello, wow. Okay, hello, shoe. These, this, this, these, wow. Okay, so there's glue all over it. I will say that that's a bit disappointing. There is a zip on the back, but we all know how these zips on the back annoy the heck out of me because I can never do them up and it pushes you forward and you're like, ah! while you're trying to walk around but they are velvet again velvet 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 shoes and they do have these false pearl details on and these bows and I actually think that is really really cute the heel actually feels really really good I think I'm gonna die trying these on because I am gonna fall over big time but we'll see they may be really comfy and they may just be like doo -doo -doo, and you may not know that they're like giant heels so this is the pair together I actually think they're the sort of shoe that is gonna look really really cute on gonna be crazy extra but look really really cute on so let's get them tried on see what they're like and Again, let's hope that I don't fall flat on my face and die. Oh my god. These are gorgeous. Do you know what? I was actually worried that they wouldn't go over my instep because the, one of the straps is here. But literally, my instep is here between the two straps. And wow, they could not fit more perfect on my feet. The back is so comfortable, like this bit here because it actually comes up over your heel and to your leg. You know where your heel actually goes in here? It actually sits exactly where it should, which is brilliant. The heel, super sturdy. I feel like I could wear these forever. I am so surprised. They don't feel like they're a massive platform. They don't feel unsteady. They literally feel like you're just wearing some really nice shoes. That's pretty much it. And I absolutely love the bow details. They are so, so cute. So if you actually do go out anywhere, I mean, I know with everything that's going on, you won't be going out yet. But if you're going to sort of like any parties or there's going to be a prom in your future at some point, these shoes are absolutely freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love these shoes. I just wish I had somewhere nice to wear them. Oh my God. Look at those, they are absolutely stunning. Oh my god, I like them so much. Okay, so second to last one. And there's another, no, I, no. 
they, they're going in there. We're going to end on a bang, guys. Let's go for the truffle collection. Truffle collection! I love that name for shoes. Truffle shoes. Oh, okay. I didn't realise I got some more of these. Um. Ooh, these might be nice. Okay, so these are boots. These are gorgeous. Look at them. Okay, so they have a zip on there. Let's test the zip, everybody. Zip test. Oh, feels like a very healthy zip actually. That's uh, very. It's stiff, but could be a good zip. But that is the shoe boot, and there's not any stretch in that, so that might be a bit difficult to actually get on. But good that it's got the zip on it. Very very big heel. Very good heel, I will say. I'm slapping the shoe. I apologise. Got a platform on it, which is going to be really interesting. It does look really narrow. So it looks really, really narrow there, but we'll see what that's like when it's on. It is a suede again, so that's really interesting how there's a lot of suede boots out there, like suede or velvet, there's a lot of them. It's really, really interesting because over here in the UK, it rains a lot, so you kind of damage them. That is really cool. I think that's actually really nice. Not very extra, but kind of ish because of the platform and the heel. These are the boots together and do you know what? I actually think they'd be quite nice on. I think the extra bit is the platform and the fact that the heels are so huge. I don't know, they may be really comfortable. We just, we'll have to try them on. I honestly don't think that they're gonna go as far up my calf as they should do. Well, they will and just won't zip up. I think they'd be really cool, but the thing I just, I don't get is everything at the minute is either like a suede or a velvet, which is, really strange because we live in the UK and it rains a lot so you're just going to ruin your shoes but I can't find any sort of like really any glue stains or anything that is like on the other ones so that's really really good and to be honest a pair of boots like this which look really good quality for a fiver as in like five pounds like one two three four five as in I found that down the back of the sofa when I moved house let's get these tried on and see what they look like. These are not the tallest shoes that I've worn today. By any means, they're not the tallest shoes, but I feel like I am so unsteady in these. It's crazy. I mean, if you can walk in shoe boots and big, great big, huge heels, you'll find these dead easy to walk in. But for me, I've actually found these quite difficult even to wander over and flick the camera back on. So the heel itself is not, not tiny, tiny, but stiletto, still a stiletto, um, which actually feels quite sturdy, it doesn't feel like you're going to fall over or anything. The thing that makes it feel unsteady for me is the fact that they're really, really narrow, my foot's squashed, so I'm trying to keep my balance as my foot's squashed and my instep hurts a little bit because of it being squashed, but the zip here, it was difficult to get over my instep there, but other than that it fits nicely, I've got room, which is always good. So if you can wear shoes like this, you have a high instep and you've got larger calves, it's gonna fit you. They're nice, I don't know where I would wear them. I don't know if they would look good with a skirt. I've got no idea if I'm honest, but they are, they're nice if you can wear them and they're not gonna hurt your feet, whereas for me, they're, they're starting to get a little bit painful. They are cool, they're nice. They're, I think the size of the heel and the platform makes them very extra. And I think the heel is a little bit higher than what you would normally have for a regular shoe. So putting the platform on it, it not being as high as you need it for the heels, your foot is at a weird angle. If you kind of know what I mean, if you've ever seen like those shoes where your foot is almost like vertical in them, it's kind of how these feel because the platform doesn't quite match the heel. If you can get away with wearing these, then go for it because they are actually this bit here around the calf is really, really comfortable. But my instep is hating me right now. Right, so delving in for the last pair, which I'm really excited about because it's this Sergio Toz Todzi again and these guys are a little bit crazy with their shoes. Oh my God. Oh, I completely forgot about these. Right, okay. Oh my God, like, hello, boots. Wow, oh my God, wow, okay. So look at that, it's got, let me see if I can show you that. There's so much padding in that heel though, that's amazing. But they're um, stuck together, but they are like that welly material again, like that welly plastic, which is it's really actually, 
quite cold on your, on your hand, your arm, whatever. And you've got this zip here. It's a snake pattern with these bits on, which, you know, now I'm looking at it again, I'm kind of thinking I understand the concept behind it. So, you know those sandals that you get and you put on your feet and they've got like the tie-up which goes up your leg? This is like that, but whenever you have those tie-up things and you, you walk with the shoes on, the tie-ups always fall down your leg unless your tie-up's so tight that you get like red marks and then you cut off circulation to your feet and then you can't feel your feet, so it's just like, no. This is like that, but as a boot, which I think is genius. It's got the cut out there for the heel. The heel actually feels really solid. That ain't going nowhere. And you've got the peep toe here, which is good. So hopefully it'll keep your feet nice and airy when you're in there. It's got buckles on the side here which they've got elastic there as well, which is really good. So you could loosen them off. It's got a buckle at the top, so you could loosen that off. But I don't know what the point of that is because it's plastic on the inside and it won't stretch. It's got the zip, which is... <sighs> Struggles. Wow. Come on, zippy doo. The zip is a bit tight. We'll go to the top. There we go. Zipped all the way up, so that's what it looks like. Zipped all the way to the top. Um, let's undo it. Oh, okay, just give it a couple of zip, 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 and it might be okay. So that is that boot. Let's get this other one out. This is the pair of boots. Could you get any more extra, like really? I'm just, do you know what? Let's, let's just try them on and see what they're like because either these are gonna be amazing or they're gonna look absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't know if they're even gonna do up around my calf, but Let's get them tried on and find out. Anyway, these boots. Well, I don't quite know what to think about these. Um, I've only just managed to do them up and they're cutting off circulation at the top. So definitely not for people that have got, um, you know, like bigger calves, definitely not for that. Um, my feet aren't feeling very comfortable in these. Let's just, oh, that's a little bit better. Oh my God. Okay, so there we go, there are the heels. Very, very stiletto-y, narrow heels, but my, my legs feel like they can breathe a little bit better. I'm not sure what I think about these. I, d I don't know what word you would use. Oh, excuse my, my line, by the way, from my jogging bottoms. Ignore that, it's not there. I don't quite understand where you would wear these. I mean, there's not, not a lot of movement in them. Look at that. Because they are plastic, they don't feel great over your little peep toe. To be honest, they actually feel a bit big for me, to be fair. Um, and, you know, if you try and move, it hurts your heel. I, don't, I really don't know what to think about these. If you're used to wearing this kind of thing and you like this sort of thing, then brilliant. For me, it's a no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these are crazy. I don't know, there are no words. Honestly, they are, there are like absolutely no words whatsoever. So that's everything from me today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this massive extra shoe haul from Everything Five Pounds. I know you absolutely loved the last one, so I thought, you know what, let's go crazy and let's do an even bigger haul so you guys can see some of the stuff that you can actually get for a fiver off Everything Five Pounds. So please tell me what you thought about these shoes because some of these shoes and boots were absolutely bonkers. I mean. Wow, <laughs> those snake print like boot things, they were crazy. I just, that brand, what's that brand again? What is it? It's this, this brand. This brand, guys, you're mental and I love it. But yeah, some of those heels, the one with the pearls and the bows, you know, it actually looked really cool. I just, if I could wear things like this and I actually had somewhere to go where I could wear things like this, then I totally would. I'm sorry guys, I'm a sweatpant person. Like, I literally sit at home on my day off and record videos and watch YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very boring. I'm a very boring person. Oh, and I walk the dog as well because Lord knows she's gotta be walked. So yeah, let me know what your favorite shoe was, what you thought was the weirdest or the nicest or the funkiest or was the most surprising down in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys think. I'd love to know if you guys want to see more hauls like this of me buying crazy shoes from different places, whether it's everything five pounds, I've got Boohoo. I'm sure there's someone misguided that would be really good to do. Just let me know if you want to see anything from any other stores or you want me to keep going with everything five pounds. But if you did like this video, do feel free to give it a great big thumbs up, show it some love. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you've not already, because I know 
So many of you watch my videos that haven't subscribed. I think it's about 85% of you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. So that's it from me guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!